Good morning. I got my South of the Border uh, merch going. I am taking a break from unpacking the car. I just got back from Florida with the girls yesterday. I'm exhausted, but I had to get out of the house for a little bit, especially because the sun came out. So I'm at Emmitsburg Antique Mall. Let's go in and see what they got. I love their Valentine's display. I feel like I looked at this before. Heart bowl made in Korea. Ooh, but I like this. This is a harder to find style and I've never seen it with the actual. Uh-oh, it's priceless. Hmm. Well, it's probably not cheap. This vendor's usually pretty close to retail. That's it's pretty fabulous though. I love the graphic on that. Oh my gosh, look at this little dress. How sweet is that? Oh my gosh, wait till you see the poodle dress I got in uh, Florida. Well, that's definitely not going to fit me. <laughs> um, I already bought one ridiculous dress that doesn't fit. Let me not do both. I know it's contemporary, but this ladybug lamp is pretty neat. What does it say on it? I'm curious. Ladybug light. 25 bucks. Yeah, that's like super contemporary and super heavy. Is that what I think it is back there? Hello, Viking cat. Yes, Viking cat, $15. I think I actually have, I might have enough cats for my cat sale. I think I actually already have this one in my cat sale, but a Vi Viking cat like that for 15 bucks, I kind of can't say no to. I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. And uh, over here, 14, meh, it's a little close. This is kind of neat though. I feel like you don't usually see the clear. That almost looks like Kanawa. Kanawa. <laughs> uh, maybe if I make a joke out of the pronunciation, it will be less embarrassing the fact that I can barely pronounce anything. Let's see. I don't see anything else over here. I'm gonna loop back around when I come down this aisle. I saw this here last time. I thought this was so neat. neat. MCM handmade enamel fish. Oh my gosh, it's a sign. It wants to come with me. Yeah, it's 20 bucks and 20% off. It's really different. I feel like there's some room in that. Let me uh, fix their display here. These are very fun too. Although kind of like a shipping nightmare. Their GOZ left in which is even more coveted than the regular left in label. How much are they though? That's the price. With, uh, that's the, my brain's fried, 65 for the pair, okay. Even with the 20% off, I can definitely leave those behind. Look, there's uh, more of the enamel over copper. I kind of just like the fish though. Plus it's different, you don't usually see it. Well, this case looks new to me. I don't remember this being here. Look at that sea glass pendant. That's very different. And that uh, decorated box. The little mink pins for the sweater. Those are neat too. I got some really interesting little mink animal pins in uh, Florida. I love that little handbag too with the straw. Look at this handbag. That's kind of fabulous. I love the uh, size. I feel like they're normally smaller. Vintage wood and Bakelite handbag, $35. Well, let's check this out. Let's see, that's very cool. Looks like it's in um, pretty good condition too. I think I might have to grab that. It's got like a little bit of wear to it, but I think that's to be expected. It's kind of fabulous especially for 35 bucks. St. Patrick's Day stuff. Love the little shamrock planter, 16. It's not a bad price, especially for a collector. A little close for resale. Global. Whoa, look at this. Nesco Pixie Egg Timer. Oh, that's awesome. 25 is definitely a good price. It's a little bit more than I'd like to pay for resale kind of feel weird leaving it here for that price though i've already got one spendy item on me yeah 25 oof so close you could definitely make some money off of it just 
not as much as I'd like to if I'm spending that much up front. This is kind of fun. Japan. That's cool. I wouldn't have guessed that. Looks uh, more 80s. Very neat. What in the world is happening here? Handmade figurine made of bones, shells, sea pods, straw hair. Okay. <laughs> That's very weird. I'm here for that. Well, hello, little polka dot deer. It says cat, but I feel like it's the deer. $10. I must have looked at that before. Is this what I think it is? It is. It's one of those blow mold planters. $12. Well, that's fabulous with the original plastic flowers in it. 1950s. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take that. The plastics are hard to find. And then I see this little cat figurine. 10 bucks. Not bad. Definitely close, though. Check out this frog. Giant hobbyist planter. 29 bucks. Cute. I like how it's oversized. Now, over here, what is this? Dang, it's wood. I thought it was over almost uh, copper from afar. It's just the sunlight hitting it at the right angle. See some lucite candles in here. 42 for the pair. 20 for the single. I don't think there's a discount either. I can't really do much with that. It's a little close. I love the Imperial Owl. I like them in the colors, though. More so than the milk glass. Obviously more desirable. Hmm. A lot of stuff is switched around in this booth, but not really seeing it. I'm wondering if that booth that uh, I cleared out ever restocked. It looks like they have a few new things. I'm going to skip this one and go over here first. I'll never forget when I cleared out those shelves of salt and pepper shakers. That was insane. I don't think I've ever gotten that lucky here. I think there's a few new things scattered about. Most of it's this Fenton that's been here. Yeah, 75. I have that actually at my house. Although this wasn't here before either. The half doll. That's really pretty, but it's like a hodgepodge one. It's like a salt shaker. Salt shaker turned into a half doll. Not really the same thing. Now, what did I miss over here? More contemporary stuff. Wow, that sun is no joke. Feels really nice though, especially because like it was raining most of the time <laughs> in Florida. I love that Mahjong bracelet. It's got really unique pieces in between spacers. That's really fun. 120 bucks though. I saw a peak. Oh my gosh, there's no glass in there. Head. Yes, look at this. Bakelite game blanks. Six bucks. Fifteen percent off. Well, I'll take that. That will clean up a little bit. I feel like it just needs a little 409, maybe a little turtle wax. That's very cool. Steel. I'm kind of nervous to come over here. Last time it was like a targeted ad, I swear. <sighs> so there's more. The Lucite Lady. More Mahjong bracelets, although some are like contemporary. That's really neat. That one's looks like it's got older pieces on it. That's really fun, even though it's probably new or artist made. Again, though, it's a little steep. I don't really, I'm not a big fan of the big wood chunks on it either. And then over here, see the February Angel. She's a 28. That's not a bad price. Cute. But what is this deer? These deer are fabulous. Pilgrim deer, $32. I don't think there's a discount either. It's for the pair. That doesn't seem unreasonable. Although I feel like the last time I looked up Pilgrim grass, grass, Pilgrim glass, it didn't sell for as much as I thought it did. It was like a cat that I thought was a really neat shape. Let's see. Monkey. <laughs> One of these dolls. These will always remind me of Sandy now. So funny. 45. Wow. It's in really good condition though. And then the Barbies. Skipper. Skipper's fun. I like her outfit. She's really chic. Oh my gosh. Look, she's got a cat on her robe. This funky mirror. 
How fun. Blue glass mirror, 150. I usually see the tables like that. I don't usually see the mirror. Oh, the secret's out. I'm wearing sweatpants out. <laughs> we always have the best prices over here. Just looking at the cat. Princess house, glass cat, six bucks. Wonder how well that would sell. I feel like for $6, I'll just get it for my cat sale. I like that it's got the sticker on so there's no confusion what it is. Look at all this McCoy. Dude, that's so cheap. This is a really fun one. McCoy yellow. 15, it's got some wear to it. They usually do. They look great together though. What's going on with this box? Brass and bone. 18 bucks, that's neat. Oh, it's like a treasure chest box. How fun. 18 bucks, I'm not sure how well it would do on that. Look at that necklace. Wait, what is that brooch it's with the playing cards? Oh, that's cool. Is it a buckle or a brooch? It's a buckle. Dang, I had a feeling it might be. Approaching next danger zone. Well, first thing I see is I was going to go for those. But then this caught my attention. 22. Dude, what? That's an awesome planter. That stuff's really hard to find, too. How much are these? These are 15. Gosh, I just want to get all of it. 22. I don't know. That seems like a really good buy. That has the potential to go pretty high. Some of that stuff really does, but I'm also looking at these. These are so pretty. People always ask me for pink milk glass, and it seems like it's kind of impossible to find, and they got some really nice stuff here. Like, what is this? Fostoria. $36. It's that jar, though. I really like that. What else do they have going on here? They have two booths too, so gotta be prepared for their next booth as well. Haven't gotten there yet. I love the little plastic flower pot. That is adorable. Four bucks. And then over here, a little jadeite section. It's like jadeite colored peach. That's kind of cool. I mean, pear. Uh, I told you my brain was fried. 15. Hello, poodle. $14. It's kind of fantastic. It's in really good condition. It's like right above what I would want it to be, ideally. Can't get too crazy. I think that this is worth way more than 22. I can't even remember the last time I had one. I want to say it was a few years ago. I want to say on Etsy it sold for like $69 or something and it wasn't in as good condition. So I think I am going to go ahead and grab that. I almost missed this little cutie back here. A little squeak toy. She's dried though. She doesn't squeak anymore. She's got some serious wear for 15. I'm going to leave her I feel like this booth wasn't here before. It's this that caught my attention. What? Famous Amos cookie jar? That's fabulous. <laughs> there, yeah, that's so good. Cookie chip. Love it. Um, I'm not going to mess with that. This is really nice. Yellow. Oh, how fun. Here's a little stuffed cat. Oh, that's cute, but it's got a little stain on it. It's kind of freaky. Uh, plus, my plush haven't been doing that well. Ooh. Left in Leprechaun. $12.50. Well, that's a no-brainer. And then this guy. He's 8 bucks. That's USA Pottery. I'll take that for $8. That's a really good price. Now, I can't help but notice what's going on over here. Although the prices are a little bit higher. I did leave this newer Bisque one. It's just not really my thing. Yeah, it's a little bit newer. You can tell by the font on the bottom and the coloring. Ah, look what I found. Let me put my basket down. What is this one gonna be? Is this the PlayStation? 
Earl Bernard. I love Earl Bernard. It's not my favorite design, though. This might sound kind of weird, but I think the ones with the girls on them are more popular. No offense, guys. And look at this fabulous nun. She's kind of strange. 24, even with 20%. I think that's a little close. What's this one? Eh. This is neat. What's happening with the snail? Brass snail, $42. I wasn't expecting that. Ooh, and look at this. This dish has a Bakelite handle, but I love the pattern on it. Normally, I just see them like this with like the little Bakelite to uh, tops, but this is really funky. What is happening with this booth? This wasn't like this before. First of all, this bar is everything. I think I'm gonna put my basket down for this. It looks like it could get kind of important in here. Uh, lots of weird stuff happening. We like the weird. That's very unusual, this like origami stop sign. We have a little Elvis, a little taste Elvis. I see what looks to be like Royal Copley. 22 and 20% off, that's a little close. Pretty cheap when it comes to those because they're on the more common side. What is this? 1950s Mexican folk mask. Wow, that's wild. Now these are kind of crazy. Handmade art glass, $29. It's way lighter than I thought. It's kind of weird. Like ram's horns or something. Oh, look at this school box. Um, how much is this gonna be? It could go either way. $10 and 20% off. Well, that's a no brainer. That is so cool. I can't believe what great condition it's in. Does it say what year it looks like? Late 70s. Let's see. It's probably right in front of me with a mm, Lebanon paper printed in USA. Yeah, it's probably just like late 70s. It's really fantastic. I'm definitely going to take that. Very Peter Max. Dude. I feel like I wasn't supposed to see this. I got an insane lamp set on my trip, so I'm not as stoked as I would normally be, but that's a home run right there. Here's that other booth I was talking about. That's really pretty. The Bluebirds is more my speed. 70 bucks, no discount though. That's a little close. I could make a couple bucks off that maybe, but as long as there are no chips, this is fantastic. The hors d'oeuvres holder, 24, no discount. Made in Japan, that's not a bad price at all. I'm very tempted to uh, snatch that up, but I think a little close for me. Look at these. Oh my gosh. Dude. <gasps> Be good, but not too good. Oh my gosh. This is too much for me. Oh my gosh, this is too much for me. Oh my gosh. Okay, what's as is about it? Three pieces as is. Oh, the tail's like super repaired. Dang, that's so great though. And look at this set, that's fun. Then I see the plastic blow mold. Mushroom, 950. Oh, such great prices if it was all for myself. These though, I, I don't think I can leave these here, even at $15 a piece. I think the paint's in too good condition. I think I'm gonna risk it on these guys. I think it's worth it. And I love the daisy set. This is fun too, the little blow mold bank. <laughs> oh my gosh. Nature's Children. Corn, Mr. Corn Dancing in the Morn. Stop it right now. Look at these guys. So good. 
This is so amazing. I love stuff like that. Oh, anthropomorphic. That's, is this legit vintage or reprinted? It looks legit. Oh my gosh. Yes. We're going to have to take that. I'm super overwhelmed right now. Look at these guys. Little nudie salt and pepper shakers. That's a good set too for $15. That's a, kind of a steal. I wasn't expecting to do all this today. What? Cats, 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 cats. 25% off everything. Let's start here. That's Avon, just kidding. No offense, Avon. This one's 14. This one's 28. I want to get on the other side. Oh my gosh, there's so much happening around me. It's almost too much. Little Kokeshi doll. She's at 40 though. This is what I was going for. Pear Cats, 52. Yeah, and I have a couple of these Inesco ones. They're a little later than I usually like them anyway. So, don't want too much of the same thing. That's not fun. Look at all those awesome horses. I like the uh, yellow colors on those. Even though I know that the joke's kind of old by now that I'm not a horse person. I think that's Essie's uh, here. That Jack in the Pulpit guy I like so much. And uh, some artisan Rickonanda. Rikonanda. Whatever. Um, this is neat. 110. Wow. Wild color. What's happening over here? I love this sign. It's neat. And then this. This is really interesting, too. I think it even says unusual in the tag. Yes, unusual <laughs> glass flower arrangement. And that's really pretty. The color pink. And then cat box, 12 bucks. Over here, this one kind of caught my attention. 15, mushroom trivet, they have such fun stuff over here. Ooh, you know, it's so funny that that might even be Whiting and Davis, it probably is honestly. They're probably both Whiting and Davis and it's an amazing price. They actually got one and it did not sell the first time, which was shocking to me. Mine was even marked Whiting and Davis. And back here. Last time I was here with Joss, she pointed out this vase and it was Essie's a hair. I left it because it wasn't my favorite style, honestly. I was going to take another look at it, but it looks like it's gone since. It's really neat. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Yeah. This is the same Russian guy as uh, my Jack in the Pulpits. It's really neat. I'm glad I left it, though. It's not as... Well, it's a really good buy, though. That's the thing. Yeah, I think that's a good buy. It's really heavy. It would cost a lot to ship that. What's going on with the Slash and the Monkey picture? $20. Uh, don't. What about the nuns? Are the nuns still at the same price? Looks like some stuff went on sale here. Yeah, 28 I was getting ready to check out, and then I saw this. That perfume bottle is amazing. It's at 85 though. I can't really do much with that. Super pretty. What is that orangey feather thing? I can't figure it out. Looks wildly fun, though. The only thing that I can't... I'm having second thoughts about this purse. It's kind of weird to have second thoughts about this purse. But I'm just nervous about... Yeah, I can see it's been restitched. Not that that matters. I think it's cool, but I feel like it needs a little extra something for me to spend that much on it. So I think I'm going to put that back. Well, it might have been a little bit silly to put back that purse, but I don't have any regrets. It's been $150 in there, and now I have one more thing to take out of the car. I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's me.